Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the single linked list. So different operations we have seen. So in that we have seen how to insert an element, how to delete an element uh, in different cases. And also we have seen how to reverse the linked list and how to find the number of nodes available in the linked list. And also in the just previous session, we have seen the advantages and disadvantages of the single linked list. Right. In today's session, we will go with another topic that is a circular linked list. So name itself indicates here it is a circular linked list. So in a single linked list, we had a last element which is having, which can store the null in the address field. Right. So we know that in the linked list, a node will be there and every node is having a two fields. One is the data field, another one is the address field. So in the data field, the actual data will be stored and in the address field, it will hold the address of the next node. So if that particular node is the last node, it, can, it, it is not establish a link with the another node. That's why we will place null in the last node address field of the last node right but here it is a circular linked list so in, in a single linked list if the last node the ad in the in the address field of the last node holds the address field uh, address of the head then automatically we can say it as a circular linked list see let me explain so consider t three elements consider the three elements Right, only three elements. So address field and a data field. So thousand is the address, two thousand and three thousand. The data ten, twenty, and a thirty. Right. So here coming to the single linked list. Single linked list. So in the address field of the first node, it will hold the address of this next one. That means here it will be having two thousand. Here it will be having three thousand. Here it will be having null because it is a last node right it is a last node in the case of single linked list now our question is circular linked list circular linked list means instead of placing null we have to place the address of the head so this is the head so we know that this is the head and this is the tail so in the address field of the tail there should be the address of head what is the address of head thousand so here if it is a thousand automatically it is linked with this one right it is linked with this one so this is called so now there is a no question of a tag right just uh, okay remove so this is called the circular linked list right if the last element is having the address field which holds the address of the first node automatically that is called a single linked list so while creating the linked list also we have to keep on updating the the address field right so that's the only difference between a single linked list and the circular linked list now we will see how to create a linked list how to create a circular linked list so the logic is similar which we have studied in single linked list. See. So always we will take a new as a node, right? A newly inserted node. So first we, we have to create a structure for the node. So that's why we can simply write here struct node, struct node. So int data, sorry int data so we can also take it character right so again self referential structure struct node star next so next is a self referential which is representing the node here we can create a new head tail sorry star it should be star right temp etc now, so new is having data and next, head is having data and next, tail is having data and next, 
temp is having data and next right now we will see if you want to create a node first we have to allocate a memory by using the dynamic memory allocation so first step we have to take the new is equal to struct node star we will use a malloc function size of struct node so memory is allocated to the new now we need to read the value the data right now let us read the value scan f percentage d value oh sorry am present value now we are reading the value now it should be placed in a node so where it should be placed value should be placed in data and the address will be placed in next so now new of data is equal to value similarly new of next is equal to null so initially first element if it is a 30 30 is the first element so a node is created here a node is created here it is a new here it is 30 oh, sorry let us take a 10 10 20 and 30 so first element 10 so 10 is stored here this is the data part this is the next part so next in the next we are placing null right now we have to place this head and tail for that we have to check the condition if head is equal to is equal to null if head is equal to null so initially head and tail will be null initially the head and tail will be null so if head is equal to is equal to null so head is null obviously the head is equal to new similarly tail is equal to new because it is a only one element existed so head will be that element and also tail will be that element so it points here head tail yells so if it is not a head or tail if it is not a head or tail then see so first element it is safe coming to the second element if you add 20 right new of data so now new is not this one again we are creating one more node new of data is 20 so 20 this is a new this is the data this is the next new of data is equal to 20 new of next is equal to null so initially it is placed with null right so now if head is equal to is equal to null so we have given that one now so sorry it is null now it's a else part it's not head is not equal to null and uh, so it will be go move into the else part now here instead of null we have to place the address of new right in the place of null we have to place the address of new right so let it be the address is 1000 here address is 2000 here so 2000 should be placed at the address field of head right head or tail all right so we can write it as tail of next see here tail is pointing to the first node head is also pointing to the first node so tail of next means this field is equal to new automatically 2000 will be stored here so null is replaced with 2000 right now we have to move the tail so tail is equal to new so now tail is removed here and it is assigned to here and there is a link from this one to this one right now 
and after that one if it is a last element so here we are having two elements 10 and 20 if it is a last element what we have to do here it should hold the address of first element right it should hold the address of first element so where we have to store here what is this one tail of next tail of next is equal to which one we have to store the head so head right so automatically null will be replaced with thousand null will be replaced with thousand see this one so this is a circular link condition if in the third iteration if you want to include 30 30 so here new will be removed and now a new will be having a one more node with a 30 right this is the data part this is the next part now let us see this one this is one new new of data is equal to value so 30 will be stored here new of next is equal to null so here it will be replaced with null if head is equal to null head is not equal to null so else part tail of next is equal to new tail of next so tail of next means tail of next 2000 so if the memory is 3000 here tail of next is equal to new so 3000 will be replaced next tail is equal to new now tail will be removed and it will be assigned here next tail of next tail of next is equal to head so null will be replaced with what is the head value 1000 so automatically see it will be having a link from here and here it will be having a link to this one this is called circular linked list and again if you want to add a 40 again there will be new node 40 next so in the similar way we have to keep on executing this this one so all this should be executed number of times so that's why we can keep it in a iteration loop so while some ch is equal to is equal to y we can write here so after this else statement we can write here printf y2 exit n2 continue simply we can write here right so while ch is equal to y it will stop right okay so all these statements should be executed repeatedly that means iteratively so like this we can create a circular linked list so only one difference from the single linked list that is the single statement this statement itself so in the single linked list we will not use this statement so that the tail will be having only null so there will be no link established for the last element but here it is a circle linked list so it should be link should be established from the last element to the first element so that's why here we are writing tail of next is equal to head right hope you understood this one this is how we have to create a linked list now we will see one more operation that is how to display the elements of a linked list how to display right so in order to display again we have to use the uh, iterative statements okay so until when so until the last element how to find the last element if any node is holding the address of the head that element is a last element right yeah so let us take an example here So 10, so 2000, 20, and let's say 3000. Thirty and it's a thousand. 
so the memory address is thousand here it is a two thousand it is a three thousand right so this is an increase let it let us take it so we have to repeat this one so why so first we need not i mean we should not change the head value so this is the head we should not change the head value so let us take one temporary variable and initialize the head to the temporary variable and we have to traverse through last element that means while see temp of next not equal to head right because the address field of the last element will be holding the address of the first element head element so that's why we are using temp of next not equal to head and we have to print the value printf percentage d temp of data so if you print temp of data automatically the value will be printed and we have to increment that one so now increment the temp value temp is equal to temp of next so automatically it will be pointing to the next element so close this one close this one and then see up to here it will be displayed here it will be not be displaying right so circular linked list right so all these will be displayed now in order to display the last element again we have to print temp of data okay here also again we have to print the temp of data here see let us uh, take an example so if it is a temp temp of next not equal to head what is the head value 1000 temp of next so temp pointing the first element temp of next is 2000 so it is not equal to head if the condition is true so printf temp of data so 10 will be printed next temp is equal to temp of next now temp value is temp of next so temp is 2000 here now temp is 2000 then temp of next 3000 is not equal to head is not equal to 1000 it is true so enters into the loop temp of data that means 20 will be printed here temp is equal to temp of next so temp will be moved to the next position see temp of next temp of next is 1000 right not equal to head not equal to head means 1000 forms automatically it will come out from the loop so the last element will not be displayed so that's why we have to print here the last element so here we can write a one more thing printf percentage d temp of data now what is the temp of data 30 so 30 will be printed here right so hope you understood how to display the elements or how to display the nodes of a circular linked list right yes so let us stop this session so in this session we have seen the two operations one is how to create the circular linked list and how to display the nodes of a circular linked list right so a slight difference between the linked, single linked list and circular linked list in the single linked list the last node the address field of the last node will be placed with null and here in the circular linked list the address field of the last node will be filled with the address of the first node that means head head node so that's the only difference over the single linked list to the circular linked list so I hope you understood this uh, create operation and display operation so we'll stop here in the next session we'll go with the another operation that is insert we'll see the three cases the insert insertion of an element at the beginning ending and a specific position right so if you are having any doubts regarding this session feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much